There's a nice log cabin here at the entrance to the trail. This is the main entrance. This is an old interurban railroad line location. Later became the Gorge Road and then became a nature trail, the Black Hand Trail. Up ahead, there's a tunnel. Squirrels eating chestnuts off the chestnut tree. The trail runs along the Licking River, which is very slow moving today. This was part of the Ohio Canal system. When they came through here, they had to blast away a lot of the rock. There was a Indian sculpture here of a black hand inscribed into the rock. It was destroyed when they came through and made room for the canal. And yes, Kids still do swing into the river. So once again we run into the B&O, the famous B&O Railroad from back in the day, the building of America. Look how the light comes through the trees and kind of like sparkles this huge cut out of rock here. Can you hear the raindrops falling? Earlier we had rain and a slight wind is blowing off the rain from the top of the trees. Here's where the old meets the new. Now can you see that guy hanging right there in the middle of the trail? Ticks are bad here once again in Ohio. Always have to check yourself when you go on a hike like this. I came over here to film this outcrop of rock in the river and I missed filming a beautiful blue heron. The muddy waters of the Licking. 
I'm sure there's quite a few turtles in there to be caught. I knew a man once back in the day, one of those turtle hunters, and he had his hand bit off completely by a giant snapping turtle. Didn't see it coming. Nature at its finest. What a great day to get out and enjoy nature, a hike, and a celebration of being alive. So we can take all these things in. Don't ever take them for granted. I'm sure you won't. Well, I bet this tree made a thundering crash when it fell. And things that are dead still create life. Growing off the old dead tree. It's a nice display here. It's really great to imagine that you're walking on a an old train track line. And when the interurban came through, it was heyday for people to jump on that train it kind of looked like little buses and ride from town to town. Of course the automobile came along in the 20s. It caught on and that was the beginning of the end of the interurban. How many people rode along this route, this trail? and what stories they could tell as, as they sat with each other on the train on their way to their destinations. Used probably for the interurban. I wonder how many people actually see that. What a beautiful, beautiful day it is today. Nice and cool through here. No humidity whatsoever. Kind of unusual to see this gate here. Looks like we have a really nice fjord here. And that one single beer can ruins the whole shot. Here's another crazy situation of a tree being damaged and then growing sideways. Well, I completed the whole trail one way. Now I'm on my way back. To my surprise, I met a couple people on the trail. Uh, two were of different ages. And they have not seen a tunnel here. Ever. Well, one person didn't even know this was a railroad line. But besides that, my question now is, am I on the wrong trail? And we are here at the old train tunnel. Well, that really became uprooted. Trees are falling down like crazy. This is a pretty cool gorge here. Look at these. Went through a pretty good size hill here. This tunnel was built in the um, late 1800s and was abandoned by 1929. Still here. No water inside this tunnel. 
I think it's got a kind of a different shape to it. It's almost cathedral looking, the shape of the entrance and exit. Not much water coming in. Yeah, you could you could actually drive through this, but you shouldn't. Kind of pockets up there to where maybe they set the dynamite. Dynamite? Dynamite? What's that? Come to the end here. It actually, I don't know if you can see it or not. You can't see it, so. Turn around here and take a look at this. This is actually found on the other side of the river. That's why nobody knows it's here. At least all the people that I asked didn't know where it was. I didn't see one no trespassing sign or one private property sign at all. Well, somebody found it. There's a couple down there on the other end of the tunnel. I guess I scared him. I apparently thought I was Bigfoot, maybe. Sasquatch. I'm sorry. I can't help it if I'm getting older. <laughs> Whoa. Kind of dips there right in the middle of it. Blacklick Gorge tunnel. Finally found. Spent all day looking for it. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment, a like would be nice. Thanks for joining me on this hike. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, God bless. Keep the faith. This is Fred, signing off.